Hey, it's your boy Picante Nino coming at you with another video. It's been a whole year since I released a video, you guys. It's been a long while. It's been a wild ride, honestly. You know, trying to get my stuff together, and here I am now. I thought I wasn't going to make YouTube videos, you know, for the rest of my life because I thought I was going to be a super, super busy man. And then, you know, the best in class tournament has came around, and it's kind of like got me interested in playing BDO again. I was kind of like on the edge of like quitting BDO and not quitting BDO because there hasn't been another MMO that's like, what's that called? That like a best BDO in terms of combat. Like BDO combat is pretty uh, pretty good. Uh, but I have been playing a lot of Fantasy Star Online too. That was like a really good uh, MMO I was playing around with, but I, I really didn't play with anyone. And I honestly do like the community that uh, that BDO has compared to any other like community of MMOs even though it can get pretty toxic like, sometimes like there's people who always smack talk and everything but yeah um I am gonna be streaming on Friday the 23rd because I want to see if I could if I could stream successfully so I could stream the best in class tournament whenever it's my turn to go I do have the links up for uh, the best in class tournament and BDO needs to do or Pearl Abyss needs to do a better job of like announcing or showing how the tournament is actually like going to run and it's it can, it's kind of frustrating because like people have a like a life outside of the games right recently today just today and this is a Thursday okay this is a Thursday and they barely announced the times for the fights that are going to be happening for the what is it the qualifiers bracket yeah they barely announced the times on wednesday and they're telling people to fight on friday on friday and saturday so they give you like at least two days ahead of time to like let you prepare but it's just like it doesn't work like that people need at least a week in advance to know what time they're going to be fighting at instead of like two or three days, you know, max. Like it's on a weekend, but sometimes people work on a weekend, right? And so if we look here, um, we have all the days, right? And Zerkers, we didn't get that many Zerkers that signed up for the tournament in the first place. And it's kind of sad, but the way how to sign up for the tournament was kind of all over the place. You needed to hear word of mouth, and if I didn't hear word of mouth and follow what random people told me to follow, I would not have been able to qualify for this tournament or even been able to attempt to sign up for this tournament. So the the predicate is is that you had to pay 500 mil to buy a pass held inside the battle arena. That's step one. You have to have over 100 hours on your character. So if you hit P, you can go here, and you see the total time. You know, 258 days, so that means I meet the 100-hour requirement, which you could easily get that just by AFK fishing. I never AFK on my Zerker, so... I never AFK on my Zerker, so this is all active time, so you see how much I've been playing Zerker for. The only character I AFK on is my Ranger, and my Ranger has over a year in playtime, so you can see the big difference. It's easy to rack up 100 hours in BDO. 100 hours in BDO. So, I guess they wanted to make sure that people played the class. There should be a difference between active hours and passive hours. I don't think it would be that hard to code. Um, but, oh well. That's the way how they did it. Uh, it we're going to be able to use our full gear. So, it's not going to be trials. No, nothing. The only uh, restriction you have is just buffs. You can't come in there with a villa buff. You can't come in there with elixirs. Every single outside buff is going to get wiped when you go inside the arena, which is technically good, but there's some Zerker builds that are missing a couple of attack speed, movement speed, and crit whenever you fight without any type of rotational food buff. And not having plus 5 attack speed or plus 5 crit kind of sucks, especially plus 5 uh, attack speed. You can't combo correctly a Zerker, and I feel like... There should be some type of way to get those stats whenever you're fighting in the tournament. But hey, like that that's just uh, something nitpicky. I know this isn't going to be like a serious tournament. It's it's done very loosely. It's just there as a first one, which I, I do agree they are doing their job with the first one. And they're trying to 
test out the waters, which good job, Pearl Abyss, you're trying. And I appreciate that you are at least trying because, you know, that's the first step to becoming better is trying in the first place. It might not be good. And you never judge someone for trying. As long as someone tries, I think they have a good heart. And I feel like Pearl Abyss has a good heart. So if we go here, we could look down. We see uh, what times Berserker is fighting. So right here. April 24th, that's a Saturday, and it's Berserker, 12 p.m. PDT time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern time, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if we scroll down, we could see the NA brackets, also the EU brackets, if you're, uh, you know, curious about that. We go here, we look for Berserker, Berserker, so we click Berserker, and then go here, and then we see all these people down here. So, I know Choice. You know, Choice is the poster child of, you know, BDO. He has a massive following on Twitch, which is great. I remember watching him when... Way back then, when he was still kind of small, but still kind of big, you know? Not, not like, to the point where he's, like, over 100 viewers. Like, oh my god, that's crazy. He's he's killing it. Um, you know, going down the list, I don't know too many Zerkers. I know... I know of Ming. Ming was pretty good. He's actually a really good Zerker. He helped me out a lot. Especially when I wanted to get into Skirmish. And this was around the time where I was kind of iffy about BDO. Playing it half on, playing it half off. And I was like, oh, it would be a good idea to join Skirmish. And I think it was Yellow's Guild. You know, Yellow the Ninja. He was like, yeah, but you have to go through a PvP trial. And I was like, oh, well, I haven't played BDO that much or taken it seriously. I might actually suck. So I was kind of freaking out because apparently Skirmish was like a good guild to like just fight. And they did have a lot of good PvPers. Like, I was really impressed, but... As a person who kind of stopped playing BDO because he had to focus on finals and graduating and moving and getting a job. Like, there wasn't really that much time. So, I don't know why I did it, but I decided to do it. And I did record it. I don't know if I still have the footage there, but I legitimately sucked in that PvP trial. They allowed me to get in, kinda. They basically didn't want to allow me to get in. Honestly, I just took an L. I, I would just honestly take the L. I'd just be like, hey, I sucked. Just give me the flat L instead of giving me this weird answer. Which, I'm pretty sure I took the L. So I didn't get in the guild. Which is fine, right? And then, the person who helped me out was Ming. He knew a lot, dude. Noodle's actually a really good Zerker. He is very technical. He knows what's good in the hood. He's actually, I call him one of the trailblazers or the pioneers. Because if it's something new, he knows about it. And he already knows how to like use it to his fullest extent. He is a trailblazer. He goes far and beyond of figuring out new shit. Uh, let's see, going down this list, you know, Edos, Edios, I can't see it that much, Eidos, um, his name is Clarity, you know, he's a really cool boy, man, me and him been fighting, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a true homie, because he's actually been helping me out in the BA, me and him been practicing in BA, you know, not, not trying to, like, flex on one another, we're trying to actually learn from one another, and what we learned is that, like, slow stacking on Zerker is just really really oppressive like it is to the point where it's not even fun like fighting in bdo because i i feel like if i win the tournament and they were to ask me for changes across pvp in general remove slow stacking slows are considered a cc okay in any other game you know league of legends you know, Dota, any type of MOBA or any type of other MMO, a slow is considered a CC, okay? Okay, not in BDO, but a slow is considered a CC. And if you're slowing someone by 60 to, you know, 80%, you can't do anything. You can't do anything. You legitimately can't do anything. And what I've been doing is that if I can't kill someone who has higher gear score than me, um... It's not over. What you do is that you do a combo that doesn't do damage and doesn't kill. But you just slow stack. You land your general disarray. I mean, not your general disarray. You land your stomp, right? Which slows by 15, I think. I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but it's in the ballpark of 15%. And then you also do your devastation or your... What is that one? Your earth dividing. Those two slow by 30%. And if you do the hidden, you know... 
Fearsome Tyrant cancel that slows by an additional 20. So it's like that all stacks and you can slow them by well over 50% or close to 50% if you just get the, you know, the devastation or the earth dividing with the stomp, which is part of like the combo. And yeah, once they get up, they're slowed by 50%. You chill out for a couple of seconds. You wait for them to run around and then you just grab them because they're slowed and you put them back down and you repeat. The only way that you could uh, get countered by that is if they just run away and play keep away until that timer runs out. But usually you don't give them the chance to breathe because you're you're over there in the meantime stacking a speed buff on top of that, which is your buster training when you go 20%. It, I'll go into a video of how like to go about killing higher geared people. And the only reason I came across this is because... Not too long ago, I was fighting Choice. Uh, Choice was streaming, and I didn't do too well against Choice. Um, you know, I just got vaccinated, and I felt like like dog water for that for those couple of days. And he he messaged me, and I was like, "Holy shit, Choice! Hey, dude, yeah, I'll be down to fight you in BA. Let's do it, baby!" And I, like for me, I was still having rolling headaches and. You know, I, I think I did pretty well, but I figured out one thing fighting against Choice because he's like 712 gear score, which is way higher than me. I'm barely like 660, so a 50 gear score difference in that kind of gear is like a lot. But it was a, it was a good learning experience. Like, I don't believe that I got my cheeks clapped. I believe that I got my cheeks clapped, but it wasn't for nothing. It was for learning how to fight higher geared people. So... To fight higher geared people, slow stack. And I'll show you guys how to slow stack in a future video. But other than that, like, I'm back. I'm back, you guys. I'm gonna start making content. Expect the stream on, uh... Expect the stream on Friday. Expect me to stream the tournament on Saturday. And if you guys miss the streams, then I'll upload the tournament fight on... After I record it. And Big Boy Blight, uh, I don't know too much about you, but let's have a good fight. And with that, you guys, I'll see you guys next time.